Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. I know that there are some others that have not connected. Sé que algunos todavía no se han conectado, pero y vamos a ver si eh, ya están allí. Daniel, yes. Sí, verdad, Daniel. Daniel. Ok, Daniel. perfect. Nice. And Carlos Rivas, I don't know, are, are, are you okay, Carlos? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, that's perfect. Thank you. Ok, ya le voy a presentar una actividad. Sé que ya se van a conectar los demás. But, um, let me prepare something. Déjame ver algo. Okay, my friends, let's see how many people, I'm sorry, I'm having problems with this camera. Yep, class number 10, imagine, we are finishing unit number two. So I hope you have uh, completed uh, all the exercises that I told you yesterday, I know. Also, the midterm. I know it was not so difficult, right? Because we have studied grammar points and all those. So let's see. I know that Daniel is here. Rivas is here. Maybe David. Are you there, David? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, David. Nice to hear you. Thank you. We have also um, Guillermo, right, Guillermo? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Nice. To hear you, Rosalie. 
Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Okay. And we have also John. Are you there, John? Yes, I'm here. Perfect. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Okay, so the here we have the topic review of unit two and practice. Okay, but for this uh, we have um, the first activity. How many people are retired in your family? How many people are retired in your family? So you can say, for example. If we say one person, we can say yes, one person. But if you if we want to say two, two people, or you can say three relatives. In this case, we are saying that one person, or you can say two people, or you can say relatives. Si quieren hablar, decir familiares, you can say relatives, okay? So tell me, if you don't have anybody, you can say nobody. Nobody or no one. No one, okay? If nobody or no one in your family is retired. Okay. I'm waiting for your answers. Pero sus respuestas. So definitely we have like, let's see. Okay, David says no one, David. Okay, that's nice. No one in your family is retired by the moment. No, not it. Your father, your mother, no. Your grandpa, no. No, no. okay. Okay, interesting. Let's listen to Daniel. You say number one. Uh, you say that one person. No, one person. <laughs> ah. No, one okay, person. No, one. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Rosalie, nobody. Nobody in your family. So, well. And Rivas, you say one person. Yes, teacher, my mother. Okay, your mother. How old is your mother? Yes, teacher. Yeah, but how old is she? Mm -hmm. uh, 60 years old? Um, uh, 17 years old. Ah, okay, 70 years old. Okay, nice. Yeah, she's... Uh, she has an advanced age. Thank you. John, uh, you say five people, right, John? Yes. Okay, three uncles. Three uncles, and my father and my mother. Do you know how old are they? Uh, mm, or or at, le at least your father and your mother? My father, the... Uh, let me see my father. I think. Uh, uh, let me think. My father last year. I remember. Ah, he retired last year. Okay. Yes, my father. My mother. Um, um, <laughs> 
Let me think. Three algo, I think. Three algo. Years? Three years. Three years ago. Yes. Okay. Two years ago. Three years ago. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And mm -hmm. I guess we have Maritza. Hi, Maritza. Hello. Uh, one person. Okay, can you mention who? Who in your family? My father. Okay, how old is he? Is the something? 61 years old, 63? 15, 5. Well, is he a military or, or a person who belongs to the army? Uh, no. no entendí. Y pertenece a un... Eh, si es militar o algo así. Eh, fireman. Ah, fireman. Ok, yeah. I guess they and the army, they build on to a, another, um, another group of people that they can retire with 55 years old, I guess. Ok, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maritza, for sharing. Uh, so, okay. What about you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. No one person, teacher. No one. Okay. No one. And here we have Oscar Daniel. What about you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, nobody. Nobody in your family. Okay. No. Thank you. Well, this is part of what we mentioned about retirement. I know that you feel young, you feel strong. You consider that you're not going to retire maybe soon. But believe me, this time will come. And maybe you're going to be 55 or 60 something. Yeah, and we have to say goodbye and say goodbye to our jobs. Okay, here we have two words. I would like you to have a screenshot about this. Sí, me gustaría que tuviera una captura de pantalla porque estos dos verbos siempre confunden. Borrow versus land. Borrow versus land. Ambos, both of them mean prestar. Significan prestar. Borrow, but Let me show you this. Okay, look. Borrow. To take something from someone and give it back later. On the contrary, Lenny, is to give some someone that they bring back later. Okay, borrow. To take. Len. Give. So uh, here we have this example. I need to return these books I borrowed from the library. The library will lend you five books for two weeks. Necesito regresar los libros que presté de la librería. Y aquí dice la librería um, te prestará cinco libros por dos semanas. Okay. So, borrow es cuando usted dice, uh, me prestó, yo presté, me prestas, ¿verdad? Y len es como igual, prestar, pero es cuando una persona te da el objeto. Did he borrow money from the bank to buy his house? And the other here we have, the bank lent him $25,000. Lent es el pasado de, de Lent. Lent. Recapitulación. Okay. 
aquí estaría... So, eh. Ok, aquí estaría la, la diferencia principal. Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I borrow your pencil? O puede ser para que no se confundan. Ok. La clave está así. Can I borrow your pencil? And the other is, can you lend me your pencil? ¿Verdad? Entonces, ambos significa prestar, pero la estructura es la siguiente. Can I borrow? Y la otra es, can you lend? ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, simplemente cambia un poquito la acción, el orden de, 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 de los. Más que todo, eh, el I y el you. Cuando dices borrow, ¿verdad? Es cuando va el I y el lend, es cuando va el you. Necesito que me hagan un par de versiones. I need to con, eh, create some sentences and you select borrow or select lend. Depends on you. It can be a question or it, it can be a sentence. Depends on you. Okay. That's it. Bless you, Guillermo. I know it's difficult when that escape, that sensation, cuando se te escapa el estornudo es lo más horrible que puede haber. That's horrible. I know. Okay. So select one of these. And Fisher. Yes. Déjeme ver, bueno, si entendí esta parte. El borrow eh, we can use when buscamos tomar algo prestado. Uh -huh. Prestado, nosotros lo tomamos o el sujeto lo toma. Y lend es como, we, como dar. Como sí, es como, que, es, es como que en lugar de que nosotros buscamos dar, eh, eh, tomar, lo damos. Ajá. Entonces, ah, okay. en español, en Spanish, nosotros utilizamos el verbo prestar. Pero aquí viene un punto bien interesante. Ok. No, vamos a ver. Uh, yo te... Ok, veamos con esto. Yo te presté cinco dólares. Ok, eh, John, ¿cómo lo, lo interpretas? Si yo digo esto, yo te presté cinco dólares, ¿lo interpretas que yo te di cinco dólares a ti? ¿O que tú me diste cinco dólares a mí? Si yo lo digo, yo te presté. Bueno, en este caso, en este caso como usted me lo dio, sería... El, el uso de lend. Uh -huh. Muy bien, muy bien. O, ok, sí, pero en español, ¿cómo, cómo lo entiendes? Cuando, escucha bien, yo digo, yo te presté cinco dólares, John. ¿Tú entiendes que yo te di cinco dólares a ti o que sí, tú me diste cinco dólares a mí? Pues ambas cosas, porque usted me lo dio a mí para que luego yo se lo... No, no, sí, pero lo, lo, que, quiero, lo que quiero explicar es lo siguiente. Eh... En mi tiempo de vida yo he escuchado personas que se confunden con el verbo prestar. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. ajá, por ejemplo, eh, si viene Maritza y, y dice Maritza, Mari, le voy a poner para que más plato. Dice. Yo le presté un. Vaya, Maritza, tú dices esto. Yo le presté un abrigo a Gustavo. 
¿Cómo entiendes aquí? Que tú le diste un abrigo a Gustavo o que Gustavo le te dio un abrigo a ti. Yo entiendo que yo se lo di. Ajá, que vos se lo diste. Ajá, muy bien. Muy bien. Ajá, ok. El abrigo es tuyo, es color rosado. Uh -huh. y, y Gustavo tiene una, un, una gorra rosada digo, bueno, ¿qué combina? ok, nice perfect, ahora aquí viene un punto así como dice el abrigo de, de Mary eh, rosado y Gustavo lo tiene, lo usa y después se lo devuelve mucha gente considera que cuando, si tú dices ay, eh, yo le presté el abrigo a Gustavo quiere decir que Gustavo te dio un abrigo a ti no sé si me explico. Claro, te lo, sí. se lo dio. Sí. Ajá, eh, eh, me explico Ajá. el tema de confusión. Me explico cómo lo, lo interpreta la, las personas. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, sí, captan eso. Guillermo, es la creo forma que, de hablar, que Guillermo también. Sería, es la forma en que, en que a veces, eh, como nosotros eh, lo decimos, o la okay. forma en que hablamos, ¿verdad? por ejemplo, okay. yo le presté, como, como, como que él me dio a mí, ¿verdad? pero yo le pedí prestado cuando yo lo pido, ah, oh, pero okay, cuando okay. yo le presté es porque yo se lo ofrecí, yes. que es mío y se lo, se lo ofrecí a él, sí, y otra es que yo se lo pida, okay. entonces esa es la diferencia del borrow y el lend, hasta donde sí. yo lo entiendo sí. ahorita. Sí, así es, así es, prácticamente tú utilizaste otra palabra ahí que es pedir prestado, entonces, en este caso, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sería borrow, sería pedir prestado, ¿verdad? Y lend sería dar prestado, dar en préstamo, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, comento eso porque eh, las personas en español sí tienen cierta duda con el tema del prestar. Yo escucho, no sé si a ustedes les ha pasado. Eh, díganme si a ustedes les ha pasado que... Ajá se adueñan de la cosa ¿no? ah no, no, esa es otra okay. cuestión que sí, no presten, no presten ok, but the point in here is that this verb in Spanish este verbo en español sí tiene un par de, de como confusión sí tiene como ciertas confusiones pero volviendo al punto del borrow and lend prácticamente lo que dice Rosalí está muy bien. Borrow, pedir prestado. Viene Gustavo y le dice Mary Can I borrow you a coat? Y todavía le vamos a poner pink coat. ¿Puedes prestarme un abrigo rosado? ¿Ok? ¿Verdad? Can I borrow you? Y también se lo puede decir así. ¿ve? Mary, can you lend me a pink coat? Es igual. El significado es igual. Lo que cambia es el verbo borrow, lend, pero el significado es el mismo. Ahora, no pueden decir can you borrow me? No. El formato es, can I borrow you? Can you lend me? Honestamente, honestly, I prefer lend. Yo prefiero este verbo. Porque tiene cierta similitud con loan. Y loan significa préstamo. Bancario principalmente. When you're talking about bank, you want to build your house, you want to buy a, a car, Or you want to go on vacation. Some people do that. I don't recommend it, but some people do it. So they ask for a loan. So they go to Agricola Bank, Agricola Bank, oh, oh, whatever, and they ask for a loan. Okay? So this is. Uh, now, are we clear? Ya estamos un poquito más claro con este tema? Yes. Significan lo mismo, pero el formato de format es Can I borrow you or can you lend? Y con el complement, with the complement, you can uh, say whatever you want to say. Can I borrow you uh, a Maserati? 
Can you lend me a limousine? Can you lend me your boat? Puedes prestarme tu bote? I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to be waiting for your answers. Remember, yes. can I borrow you or can you lend me? Honestly, in, in my opinion, I prefer lend. But if you like borrow, of course, you are free to use it. Okay. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds and then we're going to listen to your questions or sentences. And in that way, we're going to check the attendance list. Ya revisamos los asistentes. Okay, so uh, practically we don't have uh, too much difficulties. Please say your sentence or your question, and I'm going to check the attendance list at the same time. Voy a estar revisando pues la 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 lista de asistencia. Okay, so. Yeah. I consider that this is one of the tricky verbs. Son como del verbo más compusos. Yeah, in my opinion. Not too much, but yeah, in a certain way, they are confusing. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, the no 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 I'm going we're going to go in a different way. Start with Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo, could you please uh, read your questions or sentences? Okay. Uh, can I borrow your car? And the other is can I borrow your laptop? Perfect. Using borrow in both sentences. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Uh, Rosalie, please, and then David. Can I borrow your new, perdón, yes. <laughs> can I borrow your cell phone? Can you lend me your cell phone? Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Now let's go with David. Can I borrow your car? Can you, can you lend you, your car? Okay. Yeah, can I borrow your car, King? Aha, aquí está el punto. ¿Cómo crees que sería en la segunda? How do you consider? Can you lend me? Can you lend me your car? Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's move with... Gustavo and then John. Okay, teacher. Uh, can I borrow your new car? Mm -hmm. Can you lend your book? Yeah. <laughs> you want to borrow a new car? Come on, Gustavo. Thank you. And let's see, John and Daniel. Okay. Can you lend me your glasses? And can I borrow your jacket? Can I borrow your jacket? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Daniel and then Marit. Can I borrow your car? Can you let me your car? Yeah, that's it. Practically, it is uh, the same. Okay, let's go with who? Maritza and Rivas. 
Can you lend me money? Can I borrow money? Okay. Money, okay. You want more money, okay, my son. Believe me, I guess uh, sometimes it, it is like kind of necessary, but sometimes it can be really dangerous. Uh, okay, Rivas and Daniel, Oscar, Daniel. Hey, teacher, can I borrow your book? Can you lend your computer? Yeah, that's okay. Can you lend, can you lend me? Can you lend me your computer? Thank you. Uh, Oscar, Daniel, and Susie. Okay, teacher. Uh, can, can I borrow his cell phone? Uh -huh. uh, y la otra sería, can you, can you let me? Money. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Susie. Are you there? Okay. So now we are very clear about borrow and lend. Here we have this. In this case, um, here we have a reading. Usually we don't have like too much reading exercises. But in this case, we have. So, the instruction says, read the following article about giving instructions to stop. Check true or false for the items below. So, it means that after reading this, we are going to say true or false about these sentences. So, that's why it is important to pay attention and to have it like clear. I'm going to select uh, some of these paragraph so you can you can have opportunity to read just give me a second I'm going to select um, the parts for you Okay, um, if you notice, here we have some red lines. The red lines uh, means that you're going to start there or you're going to finish there. Perdimos, teacher. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello, yes. Okay, uh, I guess we have some difficulties. ¿Me escuchan? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher, I Thank have you. internet issues. Okay, okay, yeah, I guess I have it too. 
a veces apago la, la, la cámara porque que sí, se me dificulta a veces la señal, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso ayuda a que se... Uh, disability about internet. Well, we're going to start here, maybe uh, reading, please. I need you to tell me to read. In this case, uh, we're going to start with... Let's listen to Daniel and then let's listen to John. Okay, Daniel, please. Don't assume. Don't assume they know what you mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hasta acá. You know, you know what they say that assumptions is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Thank you. Uh, let's go with John and then Rosalie. Okay, which most people in your office or business will be input and switched on they are not my readers. Okay, very nice. Uh, we go with Rosalie and then uh, we go with Rivas. Okay, Rosalie. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what to mean. And this can be for anything for industry, acronyms, to who to contact in different departments or organizations. Thank you. Okay, Rivas. Mm -hmm. it it will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Details. Okay, continue. Be clear and specific. Continue. Please. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a well duplicating made zero place, but no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Okay, thank you. Uh, we go now with Guillermo and then David. Wills. Okay, yes. okay teacher. Uh, yes. Wills, um, Wills, you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions. That will be a waste of, of your time. And to be honest, they uh, switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that that your instructions are clear, specific, and I don't know how to say that. Concise. 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 Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Uh, David, personally, and then Maritza. Personally, I prefer, prefer not to bother it up and would rather get strained to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered, rather than making the instruction to flowery, which will only confuse. Thank you. Okay, now let's go with Maritza. Give time frames. Give time frames, do not confuse matters by not be, being specific with your time frames and deadlines. The deadlines. deadlines. Mm -hmm. deadlines. What you consider as soon may the, be very different from your college. Okay. Uh, let's listen to this. Please help me in this case. I don't know if Oscar Daniel is there or Luisa. Yes, if you think soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you think soon is the next topic of our get you stuff to you have to super consider it to be in a few days. Then this communication 
is going to have any application in any business or project. Okay, thank you. Okay, and here we have number four. Uh, number four, maybe we can have the pronunciation of John. Could you help me with this last number four, John, please? Give examples. Yes. Whenever possible, make sure you get example. This will be especially uh, beneficial it is if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add a clarity to your instruction and help me and help for a clearer a picture of what is you mean and want. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this article is about given instructions. Okay, this is very important and uh, specifically for people in charge of teams. For example, managers, coordinators, supervisors, all of these uh, people, they are in charge of two, three, four, five, I don't know how many people. And something that I have perceived or noticed is that Salvadorian um, confused instruction. Even there are some clear confusions we think about other things. So, um, number one, don't assume. I consider this is a golden rule. This is a golden rule, una regla de oro, for everything. For family, for friends, and specifically for jobs. Don't assume, no asumas. They know what you mean. Que ellos ya saben lo que tú quieres decir. Two, be clear and specific. Three, give time frames. Give examples, okay? Um, I need you to tell me maybe one line because there, there are some ideas, a lot of ideas in here. You tell me one idea that you consider like important or that it is giving you knowledge. Dígame una línea o una frase que consideran que les está dando una gran enseñanza de eso. In my, in my case, I consider there are a lot of good ideas. Good ideas that you can apply with your colleagues or partners. Okay, I'm going to give you some seconds. Look at this. Maybe you can select number one, number two, three, or four. Everybody's going to tell me one uh, idea that you consider like a good one. In Well, I recommend you to have two or three options because Maybe Maritza is going to say one uh, sentence. But then John thinks the same way. And John is uh, thinking about saying the same sentence. So I consider to have one, two, three options. Okay, Guillermo, you are ready, right? Just give me one second. Solo dame un segundo, okay? I'm coming back in a moment. Y comenzamos con Guillermo. Ya casi. I think in, in the number one, in the second line. Mm -hmm. uh, with most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not uh, mind readers. I consider this is the main phrase. They are not mind readers. Ellos no pueden leer tu mente. Okay, so it is important to communicate and to say what you really want. I don't know if you have had uh, problems or difficulties with your coordinator, supervisor, uh, Guillermo, related Sometimes, to instructions. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Because uh, we have problems with the communication mm -hmm. and the process that we made in, in the company are really uh, difficult if we don't have the correct information. That's I great. don't know how to say como alineados con la misma información. Yeah, you can say connected, balanced, or linked. Yes, because okay. uh, it is like 
you have to manage the same information, right? Mm -hmm. So every process is going to be 100% okay. But if some of your employees uh, don't have the right information, the right instructions, or the, the, the right, yes, parameters for getting the goals mm -hmm. or objectives, or the process, yeah, that is going to be like really, really bad. Thank you, Guillermo. Good example. What about some others? As I told you before, I consider here a lot of good ideas. And yeah, good to talk about this interesting stuff. Okay, raise your hand if you're ready. Okay, so let's see anybody else. Okay, let's listen to some of you, maybe Maritza or David. Um, number three. Mm -hmm. What you consider as some might be very different from your college. Number three. Okay, yeah. what? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, look, look at this. Soon means pronto, ya. Ya casi, ahorita. So, as Maritza was saying, um, uh, you consider soon may be very different from your colleagues. For example, uh, Maritza, your, your boss or your supervisor says, Maritza, I need that report as soon as possible. Necesito ese reporte tan pronto sea posible. And Maritza says, yes, I'm going to give you tomorrow. No, come on, for today. Okay, today in the afternoon. No, come on, today in the morning. So that's what it means. Soon is different. Have you ever had uh, problems with this, Maritza? Deadlines son las fechas de entrega. O fechas importantes. Have you ever had difficulties? Uh, no. Not but... really. No. Okay. Problems with communications or instructions in your job? Uh, no. Not really. Okay. Nice. Uh, mm -hmm. A veces, sí, van los plazos okay yeah there are some other priorities yeah. or maybe you are working in something and then your boss says Maritza come on now please finish this and you say but come on I'm working on this no 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 this so those processes are interrupted okay so you it's difficult for you to advance so that's it. Pobre Maritza, me lo mucho. So, thank you, Maritza. Uh, David, and then we go with John. Okay, David, could you select one idea that maybe it's interesting for you? In number two? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ultimo, ultimo, como se dice? Digital. The last. Last es último. Okay. The last, uh, the last is the phrase, personally, I prefer. Uh, mm -hmm. I not understand uh, instruction to floor, flowery. I not comprehend. Okay. Ultima linea. Uh, Ultima linea. Uh -huh. Esa parte. Uh -huh. 
Okay, okay. It it says uh, personally, I prefer not to butter it up. I would rather get straight to the point. Okay, so the the this is the phrase. Straight to the point. Cuando dice I do prefer to butter it up eh, eh, when you are going around from the same point and you don't go to the directly. No va directo al punto. Cuando dice straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. there are, yeah. This is something related to this. Be clear. For example, you are, you receive a memo, memorandum or a, an email. And that email has a lot of text. Tiene mucho texto. But at the end, what the boss or the supervisor is asking is only one thing. So you have to save uh, your words and time and ask directly what you need. So this usually happens with people that talk about Talk, talk a lot, la gente que habla mucho y no va directo sino que va por acá, por la tangente talking about some other things and at the end they ask what they want ok, now you get it David okay. yes, yes, teacher. yes teacher. Yeah. and this is reflected on something le voy a decir algo bien claro when you are in a meeting and you realize te das cuenta, you realize that that meeting could have been an email. Se dan cuenta que esa reunión pudo haber sido un correo electrónico. It is like, what? So the, that was all? So uh, this refers to that specifically. Thank you. Okay, and John, I don't know if you have some idea. And then we go mm -hmm. with uh, Gustavo. Yes, I am. well, uh, about, about number Number two, yes. um, I believe I believe that it is important to get to the points so as not to waste time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess time is money, my friend. Time is money because uh, you can produce more yeah. things, different uh, results if you save time. Who is, who is result, teacher, in Spanish? Result? Yes. I'm um, sorry. What is result. that? Uh, it is like here. No lo veo. Donde? Es que escuché que lo mencionó usted. Ah, result, resultados. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. result. Uh -huh. okay. Result. Yeah, you can give the. Okay, John, have you ever had difficulties related to this with instructions, with uh, being clear or yeah, deadlines? Have you ever had difficulties in your job? Or not necessarily mm. like this, or communication. Mm, yes. And, okay. Yes. Related to what? Um, yes, in my work, um, I have mm -hmm. problems with my with my job with my boss. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. You have difficulties with that and it you are the only one or there are some other employees or co colleagues that they have the same difficulty uh, no we we have we have a few uh, how do you say personal ah personnel okay we have few personal personnel okay okay when you say personal, it's a lot of people working, but personal is something uh, for you. Okay, something that you take personal. Okay, thank you, uh, John. 
Okay, uh, what about maybe Gustavo or Rivas? Uh, do you have any uh, idea in specific? First line, uh, number one, teacher, mm -hmm. an imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipe know what you mean. Okay, yes. So an imperative is when you give an order. Mm -hmm. And it's not assumed the recipient knows what they mean. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As I was saying, uh, similar to soon. When you say, I need this report soon. Necesito este reporte pronto. Yeah, you're giving instructions, but you are not giving or you're not having good communication the right words no estás utilizando las palabras correctas for example if you say i need this report for uh, this afternoon at three o'clock mm -hmm. you are being really direct you are being really concise Nice, um, like being clear, being clear, being specific, using the right words, utilizando las palabras correctas. Okay, thank you. Rivas, have you ever had difficulties with this? ¿Has tenido dificultades con esto alguna vez? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, with communication, with information, or related to what? Relacionado a qué específicamente? Uh, in the email. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the email. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, usually happens. And Gustavo, you have yours? Because remember, we have like a lot of um, small difficulties related to instructions. You have yours? Okay, maybe Gustavo doesn't have problems. Okay, let's continue. And this is part of the vocabulary. Look at this. Goal is meta, objective, similar, objetivo. Communication, deadlines, as, as I told you. For example, if uh, your boss says, I need that report uh, at 3 p.m. or I need a report on Friday morning. You are establishing one specific period of time. That is a deadline. Okay. For example, the deadline uh, to finish the unit two or the midterm is tonight or tomorrow in the morning. So you have an idea about how to use the deadline. And here we have number four. Give examples. I'm sorry. Mm. Sorry, I get this is getting crazy. Okay, and that that's another give example yeah give examples it's a good idea uh when you want to be very specific okay for example if they give you a format for a report un formato para reporte, so that that's really good because you have an example how to do it okay and here we have this we have to say true or false, true or false. Please read this, lean eso, and you tell me if you select one of these uh, sentences. Vamos a decir si son verdadero o falso. Please, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to read all of them.
Okay. Let's see if we have volunteers for this. I know that sometimes it is kind of difficult to understand all of the all of the points. Just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah, volunteers for this. Tenemos voluntarios para esto. Yeah, raise your hand and you tell me. Okay, David. Yeah, you're the first one. What number? Number, number two, three. Picture number two. Number uh, two. True. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Take your time, David. Okay, if not, we're going to... Yes, David. Uh, if you're ready, go. Okay, okay maybe we... Yes, creo que tienes dificultades con el internet. No, no, ya, ya no. Number two. Yeah. Uh, it, it is important... To go straight to the point B to be clear is true. Yeah, definitely it's true. So um, even there are some people that they like to give a lot of details and say a lot of things. No, come on, go to straight to the point. Thank you. Okay, we go with Maritza, and after Maritza, we go with Daniel. Number five. Okay, number five. It is fine. If the employees make a mistake later, we can show example is false. Okay. It's fine if the employees make a mistake later, we can show examples. Yes, it's false. Why it's false? Because you have to show the, the example before. I can mostrar mm -hmm. el ejemplo antes, right? Um if uh <laughs> If an employee, if an employee makes a mistake, yes, could it be an example, but maybe one in the year or something like that. Okay. Thank you, Maritza. So here we have before and after. Okay. So we know that before, antes, after, después. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we go with Daniel, please. And after Daniel, we go with John. Okay, the number one, according to the article, it is fine to make assumptions. And, and no, no, it's fine. Okay, it's not. Okay, it, it's false, definitely. Okay, according to the article, yeah, it's fine to make assumptions, as I was uh, saying. You don't have to assume or think about, yeah, you can read minds and people can read minds. So it is better to be clear. Okay, thank you. John, uh, maybe John is ready. And okay. finally, Guillermo. Let me see. And number four. Okay, okay. let's go number four. To, to avoid misunderstandings one should be very clear in time frames i hmm? consider is true definitely it's true um so is here how do you how do you pronounce this correct misunderstandings misunderstanding uh-huh when we say means uh misunderstood misunderstood malentendido that was misunderstood that eso es un malentendido misunderstanding también es malentendido verdad so okay. to avoid misunderstanding mis 
misunderstanding. Es como misunderstand. understand. Understand. ING, understanding. Y antes mis, okay. misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Five syllables. Yeah. Kind of large word. Thank you. Yes, of course. And maybe we can have Guillermo with number three. Mm, that is true. Okay, could you read it, please? Uh, people will get confused with the direction if we use too many words. Yeah, that's it. In every... In every area of job, there, there is some vocabulary that is technical vocabulary. Um, we should have that vocabulary very clear. But sometimes uh, the boss, the supervisor, the manager, the coordinator confuses the people. And that's it. So that that's a very negative aspect if a coordinator or a leader can give clear directions. Okay, we move with this. At what age two people retired? Okay. We're going to make a just one answer. Everybody at once, at mismo tiempo. You can say at but you know, okay, before we, we we answer this, men retire at 60, commonly, okay? And women at 55. I need you to tell me what do you think about men and women I consider in my case. Well, yeah, an example, an example. I'm not saying I'm not saying that the, this is the, the the real the real thing. Okay. Please tell me men at uh, what age? Women at what age? Okay. As who was telling me, I guess Maritza that oh who told me that his father or her father was a firefighter or a fireman. So that, that's why uh, even the army members, the military and the soldiers, I guess they retire at 55, I guess. Men. Okay, so well, that, that's a special case, but the rest of mortals, we, <laughs> as mortals, we are going to retire at 60 for men and 55 for women. So please answer and you tell me your opinion. Remember that your opinions are very important to me and to the class. I'm going to give you some seconds, write it on the chat.
Okay, let's see. Tell me some of your opinions. David. Okay, David, you consider that it is it, it is good the way it is? Men at 60 and women are 65, right? At 65. Yes, teacher, I, I agree that the retirement age is 60, 60 years old for men and 55 years old for women. Oh, okay, for women, no problem for you, David. Okay, nice, nice, thank you. And let's go now with Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo, tell me, what's your opinion? Okay, for me, <clears throat> for me, men should retire at 65 years. And woman at uh, 60. Okay. 60 okay, men at 65 and women at 60. Why do you consider that maybe we, uh, as, a work, as workers, need more uh, incomes to save money or for, I don't know, retirement process? I mean, because in this country... In, I don't know how to say, la pensión no es nada. Entonces, entre más tiempo uno trabaja, es mejor para uno. Ok. Yeah, that's it. It's like um, something that we have um, with AFP, las AFP. It is like, um, if you notice, it is, well, complicated in the case of uh, the early money is um, not enough even it has an it had an increase increase to increment right but even the increase as you mentioned it is not enough because the bills to pay the the, the supermarket the food, the other transportation. So, good point. Thank you. Daniel, uh, please, you tell me your point. Uh, you say similar to David, right? Daniel, men at 60 and women at 65. It's okay. Yeah, see. You don't have problems okay. with that. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, okay, Maritza, tell me. Men at 55 and women at 50? Yeah. yeah. You want to enjoy your retirement, right? Yo creo que ni voy a llegar. Oh, come on, Maritza. <laughs> yes, of course you, you will. Well, remember that the time is passing by and something good to continue working after 55, similar to Guillermo as he was saying you can save more money but something good if you retire before like women at 50 nice you can have more time for you even the money is part of but yeah you can have more time for you thank you and uh, rosalie hi men at 55 and women at 50 is that okay? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. To enjoy the family, to, to spend time with family? Yes, enjoy and the other um, things um, or place for visit and time and after retire. And yeah. It's ideal. <laughs> yeah, it, that would be the idea, the, the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. To enjoy family, I I consider that that that's really an important point. Yeah, Rosalia, of course, of course it is. Well, aunque dice Maritza que no vamos a llegar, okay. No desanimos. Eh, Rivas viene, Rivas viene con la misma pulidora, okay, Rivas. In your opinion, yeah. both fifty. Yes, teacher. So you yeah. can't travel with saving. 
Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, fifty boat could be another option. Boat. Este. Yeah, hay, que but... hay que provisionar desde temprana edad para. Okay. That's something so so wise. Eso es muy sabio. Uh, I guess we don't have financial education in in our country. We don't have. No tenemos educación financiera. And that is something that is really negative. We don't prevent with some savings. No, no provisionamos. Right? So. Hay que tener mentores financieros, teacher. Yeah, uh, so, some consultants, advisors. Believe me, now you can look for YouTube videos or internet or some people. Believe me, that's not wasting money. It's not desperdicing, right? Uh, Rivas, if you pay for advisory, if you have any advice on that, right? Yeah, it, it, it is good. So, thank you, Rivas. John, uh, you say, I, I don't know. I, I don't get your point, John. All 50, some 65. Yes. I don't know what yes. you mean. I have a condition, teacher. Okay. It's pretty crazy, but uh, whoever wins more, retail first. Oh, oh, okay. Could you repeat that, please? Okay. I, I have a condition. Uh, uh -huh. It's pretty crazy. Uh, whoever wins more, retire first. Ah, uh, yeah. That, that, that sounds good. Right. <laughs> People but, uh, who have more <laughs> a, a better salary, they retire first, right? They say bye bye yeah. retirement, and so you can give option for the others to save more money if they have the a majority. Yes. Yeah, could it be because well nowadays a lot of people they don't get to retire because of that, as Guillermo was saying as. Some, as Daniel was saying, uh, some other that they consider that 60 years old is okay. They did as well. So, um, I didn't, I didn't crazy? listen to that before. I didn't listen to that before, but sounds interesting. So, now, so <laughs> interesting. Thank you, John. Thank you. Good, good, good point. I like it. That's why your opinions are important. Gustavo, okay, I consider that it's okay for men to retire at 60 and women at 65. So, Gustavo, and the way it is, it's okay. You agree? Okay. Yes, teacher. I think it's okay for men to retire at uh, 16 and women at uh, 50. Okay. 15, five. Okay. Thank that's you. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Well, I guess this topic is really interesting, right? Because eh, we as adults, you are not teenagers, no son adolescentes. So that's why you're thinking a different way. Okay. Um, just for you to know, man is singular, men is plural. Woman, like Santana song, black magic woman. Okay. Or pretty woman. Yeah. And here we have women. Women, okay, remember that because I, I see that some of you say woman, mm -hmm. women. Okay, the last thing to finish this up, I need you to, to, well, we want to talk about this later because we have so, some other activities, okay, but yeah, retirement is, uh, very complicated topic because uh, people at 60, they don't want to quit. They don't want to retire because they have some debts, deudas, loans, prestamos, uh, a lot of things. And there are a lot of young people, muchos jóvenes, they don't have jobs. They are employed. They have difficulties to get a job. So big problem here in so Let's continue with this. And uh, well, and this is uh,
a feedback. There is and there are, okay? I'm going to give you some time, think about it, and we're going to fulfill this. Vamos a completar estas oraciones. What do you think? There is and there are? But uh, just to remind you, it's the, they are questions. So, uh, it is not there is. It is there versus are there. Okay. So, these are the, the, the words that we're going to use. Take your time. I'm going to ask you in a, in a couple of seconds. Okay. Okay, um, let's see what do we have here. Guillermo, please, what number? Number two, mm -hmm. are there any computers available? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Who else? David. What number? Number four, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number four. Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Conference rooms and rooms is the plural. Extraño, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Porque right any different. conference. Yeah, please. Hello, tell me. The number five. Please. Is there much, much light in your pro workplace? Ah, uh, yeah, is there too much? Okay, thank you. Well, light is something that is no quantitative. Es algo que no se puede cuantificar. La luz no puede decir. Eh, sí, solo mucha luz. Thank you. Is there much light? Um, maybe we can have Rosalie, if you're okay. And number Marisa. three, mm -hmm. are there enough personnel of your company? Okay, thank you. Solo que aquí viene un punto bien extraño. Voy a explicar esto como uno. Personnel es un nombre colectivo. Los nombres colectivos son bien confusos. Te voy a decir otros nombres colectivos. Cuando decimos family, it's a collective noun because it refers to father, mother, son, brother, sister. Okay? Pero family se dice y team, equipo. Okay. You, can talk about, uh -huh, you can talk about Barcelona, Real Madrid, whatever, but team es un equipo, is. En el caso de la palabra personal, es, un, es igual. Okay. Sería, but thank you. Is there. Is there mm -hmm. enough? Yeah, yeah. Is there. Yo puse is personal. Para andar pensando en el ejemplo. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rosalie. A collective mm -hmm. noun. Eh, Marita, if you... If Number you one. Okay. Is there any paper in the printer? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And Rivas, could you help me with six or seven? Number six, teacher. 
are there many things to do every day. Mm -hmm. Definitely it is. And Gustavo, could you with number seven? Okay, teacher. Are there good places to have a bread? Mm -hmm. Good places. Yeah, perfect. So thank you. We move with the, the other. The other activities that we have here. Okay. Unscramble the words to create sentences. Okay. So what we're going to do is, well, practically. Eh, vamos a ordenar estas oraciones. We have to order these sentences. Uh, normally, they, are, they, they have the word allowed. Ya vieron que tienen la palabra allowed, right? Not allowed, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Les doy un par de segundos y ya les consulto. Okay, who wants to be the first one? We have just five. Okay, Guillermo and David. Okay, the first one. You are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Mm -hmm. That's it. I guess it happens in most of the jobs, right? Thank you, um, David, and then Rosalie. Number two, teacher, uh, employees are not allowed to smoke. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, what about Rosalie, right? In number three, mm -hmm. and children, mm, I, see, uh -huh. children, children, un poquito después. Mm, uh -huh. sí, te, te, te ayudo. Uh, it, right, right. Bring, uh -huh. it, it's it's not, not allowed to. To bring, mm -hmm. to bring in children. Yeah, to bring children, and this happens with uh, some some enterprises. I know it is difficult, right? Because sometimes the kids are, they need. Yeah, you you, you have kids. I mean, come on, what can I do? <laughs> ¿Qué puedo hacer si los tengo? Okay, nadie me los cuida. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, what about four and five? Maybe we can have. Um, Rivas, maybe, and Daniel. We can. We have four or five. Okay, teacher. We are not allowed 
to extend lunch time. Lunch time. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I guess I don't know how much time do you have for for lunch. In my case, I have like seventeen minutes because I have to move from one place to some other. I know that it is one hour, but you have to do some other things, right? But yeah, some people have thirty minutes, forty minutes, or ten minutes. Uh, Daniel, could you help me with number five, please? Okay. It is people people are not allowed checking late to checking late. Hmm? People are not allowed to checking late. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Easy peasy. Thank you, my friends. I guess this this topic of uh, a lot not allowed was kind of easy, easy for you. Okay, it's time to. What's the name of the song? Let me check who was in charge. If I'm not wrong, I will in the card. Yeah. I guess Evelyn and no. No, David. No. no. Maritza. A ti. Yes. Yes. No, I haven't. Maritza, really? <laughs> Maritza. No, de verdad, no fue a mí. Un no. día sí me mencionó. No. Okay. Uh, could you prepare your son for for tomorrow, please, Maritza? Okay. Para mañana sí. Please. Okay, sí. thank you. I know. Yeah. I... No, 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 no. Relax. I guess it was for maybe Evelyn, I guess. But, well, anyway, uh, I know we can do it. I need you to check this image. If you could send a picture of this, I would appreciate. Please, Maritza or John. Vamos a trabajar con esta imagen. Y vamos a revisar. Let's check if we have a good quality of picture in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, I guess it, it is easy to, to see. Okay, and we're going to be in pairs. Vamos a estar en, 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 en equipos. What we're going to do is to ask some questions that we have here. For example, if you say number two, What we're going to do is practically select uh, question number two. If you say number four, we're going to see what question could it be number four. Okay. Um, sorry, I guess this is not working. Eh, según la imagen que enviaron a, a WhatsApp, sí se puede ver la, las, las preguntas, ¿verdad? 
Okay, here we have this. And for example, you can select number four. So for number four, we notice that we have this number four, number four. So the question would be this. What things do you sometimes worry about? ¿De qué cosas te preocupas a veces? Okay, I need you to, just to practice three questions. Okay, three questions. Uh, talk about this. Um, your partner speak uh, about these three topics or questions. Your partner as well. You can be one and one. And then we come back and we talk about these topics just for you to have an idea what to talk about. Okay. Así que pregúntense esas cosas. Pregúntense eso mismo. No problem. And then we come back here. And practice some of these interesting questions. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Please accept the request.
Okay, my friends. Um, we're going to continue with the with that activity tomorrow. Okay, because there are some questions that look like different, uh, interesting and different, and we're going to do it in a collective way tomorrow. But by now, we're going to use this. Talk about the music you like and the favorite artist. We're going to give short answers. Don't worry. Maybe we can start with John and then David. And oh, relax. Don't worry. Maybe Let me answer. see. I know it okay, is difficult I... because we may listen different types yeah. of music. <laughs> okay, I like uh, rock music in English and and also classical instrumental music. Okay. Um, artists and groups. Uh, Cancel Rose, Metallica, Ares of Silence, and among, among others. And, among others. Mm -hmm. Okay, and classical artists, uh, let me see, Beethoven, Vivaldi, mm -hmm. um, Agustin Barrios, Chopin. Okay. Nice. Sounds oh, like uh, interesting. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. Uh, Agustin Barrios Mangorera, right? The, the that's guitar. Right. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Good music. He lived yeah. here in El Salvador. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. so, some years, but well. Thank you, John. Uh, very nice. Let's listen to David and then Maritza. Okay, teacher. Uh, my favorite music is rock and uh, similar uh John uh, nice. my favorite uh, my favorite artist is ACDC oh wow okay that's why your name DC ACDC very power <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> nice okay I like it good so yeah that's like one of your favorite bands ACDC okay thank you David uh, Maritza and then we go with Rosalie I like uh, pop and romantic music. I don't have favorite artist, but I like Ray, Hash, uh, Morat, Loreja de Van Gogh. Okay, nice, uh, Maritza. Uh, maybe you, you listen a lot of romantic music in Spanish, right? It's yeah. It's like, yeah, that's okay. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, we go with Rosalie, and then uh, we go with Guillermo. Okay, Rosalie, tell us. My music, I like the mass, is pop and romantic. And I hear um, oh, the tall, <laughs> all, all, all. All, all, all okay. Uh, uh -huh. mm, but the mass, I like, is pop and romantic. My favorite uh, artists and group BTS and mm -hmm. Shakira. BTS oh. because the lyrics of the songs are about loving oneself mm -hmm. and very handsome. <laughs> okay, nice. Nice because and you. Shakira and because uh, and hair is super, super low. <laughs> Her voice, her songs, and her dance. Yeah. I guess Shakira is one of the... It's a great composer, actually. Yeah. I recognize that. Thank you, Rosalie. Interesting because you like K-pop, like BTS. Yeah. Yes. yes. It, it is like very... Like, like trends in teenagers, right? Yes. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's good because you listen... Yeah different types of music. Thank you, Rosalie. And we go with Guillermo and Daniel. Okay, Guillermo, tell us about you, my friend. Your music, your bands. Mm, I like almost all kind of music. 
I think that I don't have one in a specific to say that is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So maybe, yeah, you, you listen. Yeah, every type of music you can. No, any band that comes to your mind? No, I don't have one favorite band. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Irmo. You listen a bit of everything. We go with Daniel and then uh, Rivas. Okay. And in my case, really, I had a reggaeton. I had, and I like the rock. And my my favorite artist is Rammstein. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ramsey, yeah, good band. They have a really nice and interesting show with fire. Okay. Thank you. We go with Rivas and Gustavo. Okay, Rivas, what about you? Hey, teacher, within my stage are quiet music to concentrate, and my favorite artist is Richard Kleiderman. Mm, yeah, good one. Yeah, Kleiderman, it's a Very master. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Lady Manisa, it's really, uh, yes, it's a master, master in keyboards and piano. Thank you, um, Gustavo. And after Gustavo, we may listen to uh, maybe Luisa or Christy. Okay, teacher. Uh, I like music is a rock ballad. Uh, my favorite artist is Guns N' Roses, uh, Aerosmith. Oh, nice. Yeah. Aerosmith. Really good. Okay. So, well, that's it. The, those are your main bands. I don't know if Luisa is available or... Okay, Keisha. Okay, Luisa. Okay, my favorite music is is romantic. Okay. Um, Chester, my favorite artist is Ricardo Montaner and Juan Luis Guerra. Yeah, good ones. And specifically for romantic. Thank you. And we go, Christy, I don't know if Christy is there. If Christy is not there, uh, Oscar Daniel. Maybe you can tell us about your music. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, reggae music. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite artist. Uh, okay. Yes. In, in reggae music, we have like different artists. Okay, my friend. It's the moment to say goodbye. But. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening if you're listening to your name. Thank you for all your opinions and participations. Let's listen to, well, Adi, not here. Christy, yes, I guess he's a listener. Luisa, yes, right, Luisa? You are there. Um, Andre is like a listener. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you, Andre. Uh, Rivas, are you there? Presentation. Yes, right. Okay, Rivas, could you uh wait some minutes after the class for the one-on-one okay, -on -one session? Thank you. Uh, Daniel, please. Present teacher. Good. Uh, David. Present. Nice. Evelyn, not here. Guillermo, please. Present. Perfect, my friend. John? Here I am. Uh, good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Katia, not here. Uh, Maritza, yes, right? Present. Good. Thank you. Gustavo, of course. Uh, okay, teacher. Good Thank evening. you, Gustavo. Good evening. Uh, Oscar Daniel, yes, right? Thank you, teacher. Perfect. And uh, we go with, well, Eduardo, no, Rosalie? Yes. 
Yes, good. Good night. Yeah, good, good night, good everybody. Night. Okay. Uh, Susi, no, I guess Susi not. Okay, uh, please remember to finish unit number two from the homeworks, las tareas de la unidad dos, y uh, midterm. Midterm, please. Okay, my yes. friends, see you tomorrow, mañana viernes. Ánimo. Bye bye, okay. my friends. Have a good night. Uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, my friends. Have a good night. Night. Good night. night. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. Um, I need your help. Okay, Christy. Tell me. Um, con la plataforma, teacher. Fíjese que yo puedo entrar perfectamente y todo, pero me he quedado estancada, teacher, en la tarea 6, en okay. donde hay que escribir unas oraciones. Okay. ok, hagamos algo, hagamos algo. Sí, Rivas, bien. ¿podríamos continuar mañana, Rivas? No problem. Ok, teacher. Sí, I'm no sorry. Problem. Yes, I will. Sorry, have thank you, Carlos. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you, Rivas. Have a good night, Rivas. Bye bye, my friend. Good night. Puedo compartirle pantalla. Teacher. Perdón, teacher, perdón, teacher. Solo yo le envié al WhatsApp unas oraciones que tampoco me salían, a, uh -huh. me salen bien. Y ahí, okay. ahí me contesta, por favor. Ok, ok, Rivas. O si gustas, podemos trabajarlo ahorita. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok. Sí. Sí, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Trabajemos Pero, esto. Eh, puedo compartirle aunque... pantalla, profe. Permítame, permítame. Voy a ver eso. Lo que pasa queda auditado no podemos así directamente verdad hacerlo pero ah. lo que puedes hacer es enviarme screenshots ah va eh, sí, solo que solo que Cristi so, solo uh -huh. déjame comentarte algo la plataforma es muy amigable y todo pero también tiene sus partes negativas y una de las uh -huh. partes negativas es que a veces cuando le damos doble espacio a las palabras cuando no ponemos un punto al final de la oración sí 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 cuando ponemos sí, sí. un apóstrofe verdad que nos afecta pero si no mándame un par de eh, capturas y es que yo... algunas algunas oraciones me han salido bien teacher y ahí tienen la el chequecito verde pero dos de ellas le he dado vuelta revés y derecho eh, mándame la captura y ahorita ahorita, ahorita vemos uh -huh. Ok. Si gustas, Ahorita. este, aquí tengo, Rivas te tengo por acá, permítame. Sí, teacher, yo ahí le puse que la sí, eh, y, y, y las que te envié, ah, Rivas. Igual, entonces. Sí, Rivas, y las que te envié, no, ¿verdad? Eso es lo mismo, eso es lo okay. mismo. No. no. Ok, eh, ah, pues. Rivas, el problema contigo, 3 y 5, es con tarea, ¿cuál? Tarea... Eh, ya le digo, teacher, la tarea 6, las mismas que... Okay. Sí, son las mismas dos, profe, que ahorita le, estoy, le voy a mandar. Ok, um, de, de la me uh, Sí, porque yo le puse, there are three distribution centers in Ilopango, la number three, la number five, there is not person to work. Y no me lo... Pero, no, pero, no. Eh, Rivas, yo te envié solo, de la tres y la cinco, solo una palabra. No intentaste poner solo esa palabra. Are people. Ajá. Intenta. Me acuerdo que sí, pero solo es ahorita, dice, lo voy a intentar poner. Vaya, ahorita, ahorita intenten. Lo que pasa es que esta, las aquí eh, reviso las posibilidades de respuesta. Y, ah, okay. y, y ajá, me dan ciertas opciones que que es el último recurso prácticamente, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. no, no tenemos que... que, 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 que... Teacher, una pregunta, pero solo voy a poner R, porque es de R, 3 distribution. Sí, sí, probá solo con R, probá solo con R. Ok, ok. En la 3, me parece, ¿verdad? Ok. En la 3 probas... No, ah, solo sí, R. Ah, sí, teacher, R, sí tiene razón. <ríe> ya viste. Sí, por eso te la mandé solo con R. En número 3... Sí, vamos a ver la número, número, número cinco. Este, este, yo a sé, que, yo a sé ver. que no. Sí, sí está bien, Ticha. Ya viste, ¿verdad? Sí, ah, pero, pero ¿por qué? Ah, esa es una pregunta que no tengo respuesta. Permitime. Sí. Mm... A ver, sí, que por... tengo que. ¿Cómo es la tarea, profe? Ya, ya te digo, ya te digo, Cristo. Ok. Ok. Ajá. 
Cristi, tu número es 78 o 03, ¿verdad? 03, sí, 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 sí. Proba literalmente esas respuestas. O sea, solo así, ni ningún texto más. Are, y también eh, people. Teacher, le voy a enviar también una captura de la 10 porque en la parte dale. 4 y 5 no okay, me... Ok, dale. Ahorita aprovecha. <ríe> Ahorita. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero esa creo que... ¿Qué ejercicio es para aprovechar ahorita el tiempo? ¿Qué ejercicio es, señor Rivas? No, pero esto las hicimos ahora, pues no, Ticha. Sí, sí, ya las que hicimos ahora, ah, ya cambio, porque ya con la explicación, sí. Ah, sí. Ya, ya cambio, ya tienen otro panorama. Uh -huh. Sí, ya pues no, Ticha, no. Ok. Eh, ¿Cristi? Vaya, ahorita ya, ya, la, ya lo puse, profe, ahorita. Mm, acá. Listo. Ya, así sí. Sí, sí, profesor. Sí, Listo. créanme, créanme vale. que, que la plataforma es muy buena, a mí me gusta. Pero hay... hay es bastante tienes, entendible, profe, sí, también en otro... En otro pero mundo. también tiene sus perros, uh -huh. I know. Yo lo sé. ¿Verdad? Así. así que, sí, este, en lo que puedan, si hay alguna dificultad con alguna, eso va para ambos, ¿verdad? Eh, por lo menos en mi, vamos, eh, en mi caso, vamos a la mitad de, de, del módulo. Eh, nos uh -huh. faltan dos semanas, ya esto viene para abajo, ya esto va a ser más rápido. Eh, okay. Si tienen unas dudas, normalmente en las mañanas puedo apoyarles más. Ah, ok. okay. Tarde, Perfecto. noche, es más complicado porque me he quedado demasiado saturado, pero en las mañanas, mmm, sí, es más posible que... que en que unos minutitos más, va. Yes. Perfecto. Así es, ¿verdad? Así que con gusto. Muchas gracias, ¿verdad? teacher. Ahí nos vemos mañana. Gracias, gracias ¿verdad? Con gusto. Sí, gracias, teacher. Chao, gracias. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.